willkommen zurück in unserem Gamescom Studio live von der Gamescom 2022. Ich bin froh, dass ihr noch dran seid, denn wir kommen jetzt zu einem wirklich sehr, sehr coolen Spiel, was mir persönlich sehr am Herzen liegt und sehr gut gefällt. Und ich bin sehr froh, dass wir deswegen auch einen Entwickler hier bei uns im Studio haben. Und den werde ich jetzt zusammen mit euch begrüßen. Hallo Bartek, welcome. Hallo. Hi, hi. You are the creative director of the last case of Benedict Fox, right? Exactly, yes. And you guys are a Polish studio. Yes, we're, we're from Krakow, Poland, yes. Which is very nice. Um, I noticed that like the Polish game industry really rose like the, in the last couple of years. What do you think that is? Um, good question. Probably uh, it's partially due to a good uh, education system. Uh -huh. So we've got a lot of talented programmers um, and uh, generally very passionate people about the whole gaming industry. And uh, it's only getting better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that. I especially like Blooper Team, for example. Exactly. They did very good game. Our neighbors from yeah. Krakow, yeah. And, um, You came up with the idea for the case, the last case of Benedict Fox, right? Is that Indeed, true? yes, yes. It was a product of a restless night. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. How did you, what, what is the inspiration for this game? Mm, well, there are many inspirations, and, uh, but the idea came up, as, as I said, uh, one night, and uh, I thought to myself, well, maybe it's a good idea for a character. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wrote it down. And uh, months later, I thought about making a comic book, maybe, about the uh, last case of Benedict Fox. Uh, but years later, it came back when we were searching for an idea for a game. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah we always wanted to make a, a story-heavy game. And uh, so I uh, uh, checked my notes, and there it was, the last case of Benedict Fox. Uh, we tried it uh, in an unusual way, because uh, we were... Uh, kind of an experienced studio. Uh, so we knew that we had the technical know-how, how to do the game, sure. but we didn't know if we uh, know how to tell a good story. Mm -hmm. So we've set up a D&D adventure, and we tested out the story this way, and uh, it all clicked, and here we are. Yeah. That's really funny, like making a D&D first, which yeah. is already pretty complex, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long did it take? from like the original idea for this game to where are you guys now? Ooh, around one and a half year. Wow, that's yes, a long time. Yes, so we worked a lot in, in the shadows <laughs> yeah, yeah. before we, uh, we decided to show the game to the world. Yeah. How much of that time was playing D&D? Uh, <laughs> I'm forbidden to say. So. Oh my god, all <laughs> right, wow. All right, full disclosure. Uh, so. Um, we have actually a bit of gameplay here we can mm -hmm. take a look at. Maybe you might want to explain what this game is actually about. Sure. So, uh, our protagonist, uh, Benedict Fox, is a self-proclaimed uh, self detective. Mm -hmm. And he's connected at birth with a demon companion from another dimension. And uh, it gives him uh, this amazing power of... Uh, entering uh, dead people memories consciousness oh. and uh, but it also is a curse so it slowly it slowly kills him so he has only this one night to solve uh, the case of a murder in this certain mansion Ooh. and maybe come across uh, uh, answers um, that could help him detach from the demon Wow, that's so much pressure, just one sure. single night. Yes. It kind of reminds me of Sherlock Holmes a bit. Uh, yeah, there are some similarities, yes. Uh, we surely gather clues and we have a uh, crime to solve, so... Yeah. yeah, you should have named him Benedict Cumberbatch then. Oh yeah, well, internet suggested us uh, Missed opportunity <laughs> there, you should have done it. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was also Benjamin Wolf and uh, some oh, other yeah, yeah. variants. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice one. 
<laughs> so it's a, it's a Metroidvania, right? Which yeah. is a I love I love the genre. Why did you just decide to do Metroidvania? Uh, so actually, it was uh, more of an um, evolution of the idea than than uh, it wasn't initially a Metroidvania. We were maybe thinking about something more uh, linear, mm -hmm. but uh, since we decided uh, that the majority of the game will take uh, place in the inside of the human mind, which is already maze-like, uh, then it was kind of uh, natural to go this way uh, to the end and uh, uh, somehow it became a Metroidvania uh, evolution way. It just happened. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, we were making a game and suddenly, oh, we got a Metroidvania on wow. our hand, yeah. <laughs> this is funny, this is very good. Does it include permadeath? Because that's what I'm scared of. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. So, um, uh, we do uh, have some maybe micro mechanics uh, that are similar to roguelikes, but no permadeath, yeah. Wow, that's, that's a big relief uh, for us. Can you tell us a little secret maybe? Something that nobody knows yet. Are you allowed to? Somebody that know about me or the game? <laughs> <laughs> ah, tricky, <laughs> tricky. I prefer the game, okay. but go ahead, share about the game. With us. So, so the thing is that uh, after the reveal trailer, I think that most of the people thought that we are maybe closer to um, uh, walking simulators because there was a good quality of graphics, yeah. but not that much of uh, combat and action. Mm, but the true secret is that uh, it's uh, quite in depth. So uh, I think that players will uh, appreciate how many uh, mechanics combine to create the game. Yeah, it's a sleeper hit already. You already won a Gamescom award for it, right? Yeah, that Congratulations was a on you. that. Uh, where can we find you here at Gamescom? So we're at uh, the Hall 8 uh, at the Xbox booth. And uh, we are also at the TikTok in Hall 7. Wow, that's two places at the same time. Yes, exactly. We're multitasking, yeah. <laughs> Can we actually play the game there? Yes, yes. We have a fully playable uh, demo that uh, um, you can explore on both, uh, both of these booths. Yeah. Can you tell us how long the demo will be and what we're kind of able to do for all those people who can't be here? Yes, yeah, so, so actually on the Xbox uh, booth the demo is limited to 20 minutes because there's a huge mm. line because we are neighbors of uh, Lies of P. 20 minutes is a lot actually. Oh yeah. I think, I think that's quite good to have like a first impression of a game, Yeah, right? but, but uh, we actually brought a demo that uh, you can play for maybe 30 or 40 minutes if ah. you want to. Or four minutes if you are a crazy speedrunner, so... <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Do you think there will be a big speedrun community for this? Because I, I do love speedruns, I watch mm -hmm. them all the time. And I know that speedrunners are always happy to have some features included for them. Yes, and we are ready for them and we, we really hope that, we'll, uh, that the community will... Uh, uh, try to, to speedrun our game, yeah. Nice, I'm looking forward to that, maybe seeing it at the next mm -hmm. GDQ event, that would be oh, great. Oh, that would be awesome, yeah. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to share with us about the game? Do you think, uh, maybe you can explain to us what makes it special? Yeah, so, so one of the ways it's special is um, uh, a part of our uh, great uh, art uh, that is kind of a cartoony, Mm -hmm. We wanted to create a contrast between this cartoony art style and very mature and intimate story. Yes. So, so some people also may be surprised that uh, it's not, uh, not going to be a light-hearted game. It's uh, very uh, intense and it's, um, it uh, maybe will help some players to even uh, dig deep inside of them yeah. and maybe uh, think about their lives. It, right? uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, uh, that's uh, something we really hope will happen. Yeah. That's, uh, that's such a lovely cause. I mean, I love like serious games mm -hmm. where you can think about the stuff that yeah. you're actually doing or seeing. Yeah, and and so if this has like a deeper meaning, that's like right on my alley. Yes, yeah, so so great. Because so digging for someone's memories, it's uh, uh, tough stuff, you know. Okay, all right. I'm looking forward to it. 
everybody is looking forward to it, I guess. But when does it come out? Can we, uh, do we have? So we can only say that it's going to be a spring 2023. All right, spring so, yeah, 2023. Not that far off. That sounds good. Thank you for being with us today. Last case of Benedict Fox. Ein sehr, sehr schön aussehendes Spiel. Ein sehr tiefes Spiel, wie wir erfahren konnten. Und äh, ihr solltet es euch angucken, wenn ihr auf der Gamescom hier unterwegs seid. Ihr habt gerade erfahren, wo ihr das finden könnt. Ich kann es nur empfehlen und hoffe, ihr schaut es euch an. Und was ich weiterhin auch hoffe, dass ihr natürlich hier bei uns dran bleibt. Wir sehen uns. Thank you.